In today's video, the goal is to fix another accessory for my American Flyer Christmas layout. And there are just a few things left to fix. But I think for today, I'm gonna work on the water tower. Now, normally this would be just a matter of hooking it up, um, but let's take a look inside and see what's going on with this. So the lid comes off like that. Well, we can see right off the bat that there's no light bulb, so I have to find something for that. And then we have here the mechanism. So on this mechanism, there's a solenoid that pulls the lever up and that is tied to the lever that runs down through the hole, which activates the spout. Um, so we've got three wires coming in, the green, yellow, and black. One of those should be for the solenoid, one should be for the light bulb, and then the third should be the ground. Ooh, looks to me like the ground on the, the green wire here is disconnected, so I think I'm gonna take this downstairs to my soldering station and get this put back together, and then I'll see if it works. Also, this feels like a little bit older of a mechanism. I recall the uh, other, I've had actually a couple other um, water towers in the past, and uh, I don't recall all of them having cast metal spouts with weights. I know this one might be a little bit older because it actually has a cast weight on the bottom. But maybe I just overlooked that. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go get this soldered up and then uh, put in a light bulb and see if she goes. I have the repairs done on the water tower and I just want to show you what I did and then we'll oil it and hook up the wires and test it out. So I just got back from the sink cleaning it and it's still a little bit wet on the top. So I installed a light bulb. Actually that's the light bulb I took out of the semaphore. Um, over here is where the wiring comes into the solenoid. So the spike wire is the common, it's soldered right to the frame, which is also the common for the light bulb. And then the wire actually runs across to the other side, over here. And that's where the solenoid comes in, and then the other wire uh, was tied directly into this green wire. However, there was a small problem with the wire in that it was so short and soft, as soon as I soldered it, it broke off. So, and it broke off right at the point where it comes out of the coil. So I had to dig into it with a pick. I had to peel off a little bit of the tape and then I was able to unwind uh, one of the windings of the coil. That gave me enough slack that I could re-solder it without it breaking off again. Once I got this, uh, the coil put back on and the wire soldered in place, I used simply a dab of hot glue to hold the green wire down because um, there's nothing preventing that wire from twisting around, so now it has a point where it's held solidly and then it can't flex the very, very fragile wire that goes to the coil. Now hot glue obviously wasn't used originally, but it's a good solution that's working for now. So it's all cleaned up, shined up. I scrubbed the base, it was all grimy, and then I scrubbed the lid. As you can see, part of the arrow disappeared off the top of it, and I understand that it's part of the originality of it, but actually this looks sort of neat that it's it's much more weathered looking to me. And also there are replacements available as this one was already starting to flake off. You'll probably notice it's a little bit darker now because it's a different time of the day that I'm filming this half of the video. So I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on the spout right where it hinges. Put some on the inside too. Going to add a little bit of oil where the spring is. Right down there. And where that lever interacts with the frame. And then one more. Way down there. So that should allow that to operate nice and smoothly. Yeah, perfectly silent operation. So now I have the wiring hooked up. The light bulb works on the inside, although you can't see it because of the lens on top. And then I have a uh, control button hooked up. So let's test it out. 
that actually works exceptionally well, and it's not as noisy as it was before I oiled it, so that's a win. All right, let's run the train, and I'll stop and fill it up with water. I am burning out light bulbs today. That's the second old old stock light bulb that I just toasted. Well, that might be another perfect spot to use an LED bulb. Well, I'm a terrible engineer. I missed that one by a mile. <laughs> 